The year's 2023. However, we wanted to add some retro charm to this beautiful all-white Game Boy Advance with IPS backlit screen. First off the ranks, we decided to add a Mad Cow Magic Editor 3 cheating game device. Similar to the Game Freak, this cartridge allows you to add cheat codes to all your favorite Game Boy Advance games and simply plugs into the top of the Game Boy Advance cartridge slot followed by the cartridge you want to manipulate. With the rise in popularity for retro consoles, so have been the demand for aftermarket accessories, such as the Super Mario Bros. Screen Shield. Produced in 2001, this peripheral simply clicks in to the top two notches of your Game Boy Advance console and pivots on a hinge on either side. This was originally designed to stop scratches on those pesky plastic screen bezels. Although unnecessary in this day of age of backlit screens, what retro mod wouldn't be complete without the classic worm light? If you were born in the late 70s or early 80s and owned a Game Boy, this was the number one accessory to combat the original non-backlit screen in low light levels. In a time before the iPod, all retro lovers enjoyed music on a large boom box. So why not add a tubular boom box speaker to this console, just to add that retro flair. And of course, what retro console wouldn't be complete without the addition of the iconic Gamestar 3-in-1 cartridge adapter. This device was originally created for the Game Boy Advance SP. However, with the addition of the Mad Cow Magic Editor 3, this peripheral can now be adapted to a standard Game Boy Advance console. With recent positive feedback from previous videos, our fans reached out to us in regards to movie adapters for the Game Boy Advance. In this instance, we added an AM3 card adapter with a classic Detective Conan episode. This item was purely released for the Japanese market. But of course, we couldn't stop there. So we decided to add a Game Boy Advance e-reader. Originally released in 2001, this peripheral features an LED card reader, which unlocks bonus levels, lives, and mini games. And if you're wondering, yes, it does function without being connected to the communication port. And finally, what retro console wouldn't be complete without a copy of Super Mario Brothers. We were lucky enough to get our hands on this store model demo game, purely released for the Japanese market, complete and boxed. Enjoying this video? Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now finally, the question you've all been thinking, does this console function with all these add-ons? It sure does, and even boots off the Mad Cow Magic Editor 3 console 
and it also picks up game hacks for Super Mario Bros. 2, which we enable. Now all that's left to do is enjoy our oversized, underpowered Game Boy Advance console.